Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. It is a horrible, miserable, wet day today. I've had to put the light on in my living room to make this video because otherwise the picture is all dark and grainy when there's no light on. Like it's of a night time if I don't have the light on. But you usually get good quality during the day. But it's so dark today because of the weather, it's torrential rain. I don't know how long it's been raining, uh, I think it started about 9 o'clock this morning. It is 2 o'clock now. I've just finished my lunch and I'm busy doing Derek's. I'm having a cup of tea as well. But you know, the bin men came round today and I had to go out into the front street to get the bin and I just had to walk down my drive, open the gates, get the bin, bring it in, put it down by the side of my garage and then back into the house and I was absolutely soaked. I put my um, jacket on to go out when I never had anything on my head. My hair was soaked as you can see, it's a right mess. Needs just as well, it needs washing anyway, I'll be washing it tomorrow for when I go to my bingo. But it's such a horrible day and we've got this for a couple of days as well. And it's just one of those days when you don't want to do anything. You can't do anything anyway. Even if you did any washing, you can't hang it outside and everything. So I'm just sitting here. I've got my computer on. I've got my blanket on my knee because it's quite cold in the house as well, you know. But I'm loath to put my heating on at this time of year. I think it's only about 11 degrees or something. I would check on my phone and see what the temperature says today. I'm not sure it's about 11, but it doesn't feel like it's even 11 in my house. Oh no, it's 12 degrees a day, but heavy rain all day. And yeah, getting rain tomorrow as well. So my wife will be going like this when I'm going up the A1 tomorrow night. But anyway, I thought, since I've got nothing else to do, I can't do anything else, I'm just sitting knitting. So I thought I'd be watching some series on my computer. Um, I go on Amazon, they have a, um, it's called Free V, where you get free TV shows and free movies and all that. And I've been watching, they're usually all pretty old ones. But I've been watching some of those TV series and I found a series called um, Silk Stockings. It's a play on the word stockings, silk stockings. It's a play on, it's called Silk Stockings. And it was made in the early 90s. And I'm not sure whether it was ever on our TV here in the UK. Because it is an American um, show. It's supposed to be set in Florida and it's these two detectives, man and woman. Um, he's called Chris Lorenzo and she is called Rita Lance. And I'm really enjoying it. There's four seasons on um, the Amazon site. And there's such good chemistry between these two actors, I think off screen and on screen, they were, must have been really friends. And while it is corny for its time, <laughs> I'm enjoying watching it. Well, there's four seasons on Amazon, like I said, and I've watched, I watched all four seasons and it got to the end. And I thought that was the end of it altogether. I thought they'd only made four, so, but I looked it up on the movie database thing on my computer and there was actually eight seasons of it. But Amazon are only shown four and I was really enjoying watching it, but you know, it's a bit raunchy. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. You don't see anything, you know, sex-wise, but just the implications in it. And it's one of those shows where the women, it's where they are in Florida, um, sometimes the beach or wherever you see them, the women walking around in either bikinis or in their own homes in underwear. 
you don't see anything until you see the back view and all you see is a string up the stuck up the backside <laughs> and all the bare skin and a little tiny little triangle on the front <laughs> triangle cloth on the uh, the front and but you don't that's all you see you don't see any money there's no you know explicit things in it but it's all about it's called silt stockings because it's in the um like the area where they're all rich and all that i think in the um the like um murders like sexually implicated murders that sort of thing and uh, these two characters are really good i really like them and watching that show if anyone here uh, well in this country would probably know about mary whitehouse she more or less told the tv companies what we could watch on the television she dictated what we could and couldn't watch she'd have a field day if that was on our tv i don't know whether it was ever shown in the uk but i think if it was it would have been after the watershed or even later on in the middle of the night i think but like I'm saying, anyway, I was enjoying watching. I thought it had come to an end because it was the four seasons. But when I looked on the internet, I did manage to find the other four seasons. So I've downloaded them. I'm not telling you where from either, but I, I have downloaded them. And I started watching the fifth season. And halfway through the fifth season, they killed off the, um, the young fella detective. And I liked him, he was really nice. And I thought, well, you've just spoiled that show for me. You know, I've got to put up with uh, the brought some new characters in to take their place. And then the girl who played his partner, she left the show as well because um, she was actually, she was pregnant in the show, but she left because she was pregnant in real life as well. So that was one of the reasons why she left. So they brought new actors in to play the part and the show is just not the same. I've watched one or two episodes and <laughs> the charisma of that show is just not there anymore. And I think it was cancelled for that reason after the eighth season uh, that it went on for. So anyway, that's what I've been doing today. Just well this morning, I was up rather early this morning. Don't know why, but I woke up, it was before five o'clock and I couldn't get back to sleep again. And I gave up at the finish and I got up about six o'clock. So I thought, seeing as I've been up a little bit earlier, I finished this little square, what I was doing. This has got the, I've got the zip and the, I've left a long end for the sew it as well. But this is one of my little notion pouches so i've got the square already but to make the um the little bag to go inside and there has been a lady has messaged me asking for one so her name's Anne. so this will be going to Anne anyway this one when i i get it finished but she also wants a a meon ball holder like my this thing here she wants one of those as well so but I put her on my list because I want one or two other people before her first. But she's the first person that's asked for one of these. So this one is going to Anne. But I will be doing some more. I've got the zip ready. This is, you can't, you, hard to see the colour on there, but it's sort of like a green. Can't describe the green like I love it. I think you call it love it, this green. Doesn't tell me the colour on the label of the, um, the world, but... And that is a very dark green zip, the only one I could match with it. So whatever I do with these now, I'm just going to have to match as best I can with the zips because the zips are what I got from uh, Timu. And I also got some from Kate from the last homely house. And while they're all different colours, you can't, from Timu, you can't order what colour you want. You just have to take them. You get them very cheap in a pack, pack of 10, I think it was. But you just have to take what they give you, you know. So anyway, I've sorted out a very dark green one for that. And I'll be doing, I'm using up all my little bits of cotton. This is cotton that I'm going to have little odd little bits of cotton, you know, that I've had left over from something. So, so I'm going to be using the cotton up for these little bags. 
This one is slightly, slightly shorter than this one. I've made it a little bit, about that much shorter than it, because this one came out, was a little bit longer than I thought, and I like the zip to end up on the corners, not to come right in. So I've made that one a little bit shorter. So that's that one ready for a little bag to, to move. But I think I'm going to do one or two of them first before I put the bags inside and then do a few all at once instead of doing one and then having to sit and do all the sewing and that and then go on to something else and then do another one and do the sewing. I'm going to do a few all at once. And so that's that one done. And then I started on... I've started on Derek's, that's how far I've got with Derek's. I've just started on his again after my lunch. Have another drink of my tea. But I am going to have to go up to my bedroom upstairs where I, the spare bedroom where I keep all my wool on the shelves and that and sort all that wool out again because I've been pulling bags out looking for this, that and the other and they're all over the place again. So they need tidying up and sorting out and I'm going to sort them out and put all the same, the same colours together and that so I'll not have to keep hunting through all bags. That's what I've done. I've just put the bags up. Just any colours. I haven't sorted the colours out. I've just put a lot of bags up and that and to tidy them up and all that. And when I've been looking for a particular colour of something, I've had to pull all these bags out to find them. So it needs sorting out. So I'll probably be doing that in a couple of days' time. And I had a message off Dagri this morning, the lady who I just sent that large parcel to the United States on Friday. And she sent me a message this morning. She's received it this morning. Oh, bye. That was quick. Usually when I send anything to the United States, it takes about 10 days. <laughs> I don't know whether it was because I took it down to the main post office, whether it gets delivered quicker from there, it gets to where it has to go quicker than it does from these little ones up like the one beside where I live. But it is a little bit of a trail to go down there every time with a, um, a portal. But I think it got delivered quicker than some of the things that um, I posted in this country. So... And she's asked me for a bag as well. <laughs> so I've got another, add another bag to my list that she wants a large one for. She goes on a bike up in the mountains and places like that and uh, she wants a large bag for, to put whatever she takes with her in. She has a pannier on the bike, but I think she wants a larger bag as well. So I have to put that on my list as well. And then I have my cardigan. Now lay up to the armholes on the sleeve. Not be long for that. And then once I get that sleeve finished, I can put the neck on and the bands and well sew it up first and then put the neck on and the bands and, and that cardigan will be finished. As soon as I finish this, I'm going to carry on with Derek's on the afternoon and the night time to get it finished a little bit quicker. So well, that's what I'm doing now because it's my afternoon after my uh, lunch but I have been doing a little bit more crochet this morning like I've seen with me got up earlier uh, this morning I did that little bag first but that's how far I've got with Emma's <laughs> bag the larger bag you can see I've got my balls inside there I don't know how many rows I've actually done in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I've done sixteen rounds on that. I'll just keep going round when I'm doing it. I don't join anyway. I do when I've when I do the the weight. I put the weight on the bottom and I join that when I made that so that you don't get that step where you go on to another colour. So I just Joined that in one go, well, a couple of rows, and then started on this one separate. So there's no sort of join. So, because when you join this stuff, you're going round and round, and you make a join, you get a step where one colour finishes and the next one starts, you get a step up on it. 
So I'm crocheting, I want to do this now, I'm going to crochet, when I want to change colour, I'm going to fasten it off and start somewhere else and go around to make sure the joins, not a step in the join. Because I'll put, be putting a little bit white on the top of this when I get higher up on it. So I'm probably about halfway up on uh, that one. But I'll be lucky to stay awake tonight to do any of mine because the time that I woke up this morning, <laughs> I didn't go to bed till about one o'clock, but I still woke up before five o'clock this morning. So I'll probably have trouble keeping my eyes open <laughs> later on tonight. So that's my little bit for today. So I'm just going to keep on knitting as much as I can and sit here and enjoy the fact that I can't do anything else. Can't do anything in the garden. It'll be that'll be have to wait a few days for the garden to dry out after all this rain. I think we're going to be having some floods actually. The the way the rain's coming down. So, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. So, bye for now.